everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for the March Owl Crate subscription box. So Owl Crate was nice enough to offer to send me their March subscription box, and thank you so much to Owl Crate for thinking of me. I absolutely love receiving Owl Crates. They are one of my favorites. They are just so great. This month's um, theme was Writer's Block, which was absolutely perfect since um, you guys may know, especially if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, that I have been writing a book, at least trying. It's kind of on the back burner right now because of finals, but I have been working on that, and I thought that this was very apropos and just perfect so I was absolutely giddy when they offered to send me this month's box and th it's actually April now as you know because I'm literally uploading this the day that I'm filming it but it's April now and the April um, theme is dystopia so I don't know if it's still available but definitely go and check them out I will have them linked down below and you guys should definitely sign up for it it is absolutely awesome and I just love it you receive a YA um, a new YA book every single month that it goes with the theme as well as some other bookish goodies super cool and it's a Canadian a Canadian company so gotta support Canada woo woo. so yeah without further ado let's get into it so we have the little card right here which is adorable I love the little typewriter this looks like my daily setup of writing I love it Yes, so I'm gonna set this aside so that I don't spoil myself. So the first thing I see in here are these little buttons that are from the Bookworm uh, Boutique and they are designed specifically for Owl Crate, which is absolutely awesome. So it's these three buttons here. The first one says I start a new adventure every time I open a book. The next one says let's live in fictional worlds and the last one says I read to live, I live to read, which is so cute and I absolutely love these. I have like a little book button collection going because of all these subscription boxes. It's awesome. The next thing is these little socks right here. These are from out of print and they are banned book socks So they basically have like writing from books and it's all like censored So it's kind of showing like censorship and stuff. I think this is super cool And it says that every purchase donates one book to a community in need so that's really cool Um, so it seems like if you buy one pair of their socks Then they give a book to a community that needs books and I really love that that's awesome And these are adorable the next thing is 600 142 tiny things to write about and this is by the San Francisco Writers Grotto. I actually have the big version of this. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if it's 642 as well, but it's like a big book that gives you a bunch of writing prompts. So this one is like a little one that you can just throw in your purse. Like if you're waiting somewhere and you're bored, just have a pen in there and you can start writing. This is really cool. I love these things because they're really great at like kind of getting your creative juices flowing and these are just really awesome and I didn't even know there was a tiny one. It's so cute the next thing is this absolutely amazing pen it looks like a quill it is awesome so this one is from uh, it's a quill pen that's from kicker I don't know if it's kicker or kicker kickerland or kickerland um, and it says that it's like Hogwarts inspired it is so cool I absolutely love it like this is my new favorite pen even the bottom looks like a quill it's amazing I love it I need to show you it close up like look at this it looks like it's got the feather and look at oh my god beautiful I'm just gonna carry this around with me at work so then whenever I have to sign a receipt I can just like take out my quill and just absolutely amazing I love this next is the book in this month's book is the serpent king by Jeff Zenter Zentner Zentner clearly I can't say that name at all um, but I have kind of heard about this book that's really loud I'm sorry I've kind of heard about this book but I haven't heard too much like I'm honestly not too sure what it's about at all oh it has this really cool kind of quote card which is cool so that says they went to the column where they stole a few more quiet quiet minutes together listening to the river wear its way deeper into the earth into the earth the way people wear grooves into each other's hearts that's a really cool quote. I read it really terribly, but it's a cool quote, um, which I'm assuming is from the book. And yeah, that seems really cool. Oh, there's also a contest to win a free owl crate on there. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, this book seems interesting. I honestly have no clue what it's about. So I'm going to read the synopsis and get back to you. So it sounds like this is just a contemporary book about three outcasts who are in their senior year of high school and they kind of come together and they're all really weird, have their quirks, and it's just kind of the story of them. I'm honestly not entirely sure what it's about even after reading the synopsis but I have heard some pretty good things about it and it seems really interesting so I'm excited to read this. 
So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to go and check out Owl Crate. They're absolutely amazing. I love them and thank you once again to them for offering to send me this month's box. I absolutely loved it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!